Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to replace your iPhone 12 screen. As the first thing we will be doing is we will be using this bit called your Pentalo bit, it's just got the little P2 on it, to remove the screws from the bottom of the phone, which are obviously just called your Pentalobe screws. That is what has to happen first. We are going to go ahead and remove them now. You want to be careful with these bits and screws because you really want to be uh, make sure your bit is lined up with the screw. They're really, really easy to strip out, so you may want to give it a good bit of elbow grease when you are trying to unscrew these because if you don't get it and you strip it out, then it's going to be really, really hard to get into the phone with those screws still in there. And I'm sorry you couldn't really see me doing this. I was holding it close to my chest to, you know, try to get as much uh, force on the screw that I could to make sure I got it out because like I said, it is not a good time if you can't get those out. It's really hard to get into the phone. As now that I have the Penelope screws out, I'm using this tool called a Sesmo, which is basically just like a small piece of hard plastic to uh, lift up on the screen. As once again, I'm doing this a little closer to my chest because it's just kind of hard to do that over the desk because, you know, you can't really get much force. But once I get it in there, I will be showing you guys the result. So I finally do get my Sesimo in, as I think that's what that tool is called. Once I do finally get that in, I, you can see the screen lift up just that little bit, and I go ahead and put this uh, plastic, it's like a guitar pick, basically, but it is what they issued to me at UBIF headquarters, which is just a little plastic thing to help you try to get the screen off. I just slide that in a little bit, and then I just start to work away at the adhesive and just try to open up the screen a little, little by little. As then again here, you can just see me trying to just get the, get the pick in the phone, and just continue to work it around the edge of the phone. And I forgot to mention, but when you put the Sesmo in, you want to make sure that you do get right there at the edge of the screen. Obviously, you don't want to like hit the screen or anything like that, but the line's pretty obvious to tell, but you always want to do it at the bottom near the charging port as well. But I finally get these picks around, and I'm just starting to just once again just work them around a little bit, and eventually I'll be able to open up the screen. And you want to watch for, once you get it a little of the way open, you'll see me look into the phone. You want to get... Uh, make sure that you're working the picks on the side that do not have the wires um, because you obviously don't want to cut the, any of the wires inside the phone because there are some that hold the screen onto the actual display as I do finally get it open right about here. So I do finally get the screen open and obviously you want to open it away from those flexes that connect the screen to the actual like main base of the phone as I get my little petri dish there ready to put screws in as next I'm using this Y bit. It's got uh, just a Y and then and then three zeros as you're going to be using this bit to open up this first panel which is the one that is covering up the battery flex which is what we are going to want to disconnect first. So then the next thing I am doing is I'm using this plastic tool to just unconnect all of the flexes of the battery and the ones that are holding the screen to the actual frame. Um, you want to use a plastic tool while inside the phone. Notice I'm not using the metal ones because if you nick or even touch the battery with one of those metal tools, there is a very high chance that it will uh, catch fire and maybe even explode, which is definitely not something you want. That's not even an exaggeration. Like I have seen them blow up firsthand. Uh, they catch fire very, very easily since they are the uh, lithium ion batteries and they really don't like metal. And I honestly wish we had plastic um, drill bits to use, but we don't. So. Uh, just be careful while working inside the phone. As now I'm just removing this top panel that is holding the display to the main or to the uh, actual frame of the phone. It's just the same thing as you did before. Just unscrew all the screws and then obviously take the panel out. And like I said, once you get all the screws out, just go ahead and take this panel off. And then you will just disconnect this last flex that is holding the frame to the actual screen, which is of course just the last one. So once you get that off, then we will work on getting the new screen ready. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you get the screen off is go ahead and take out the screws here on the display. This is what uh, this is where like your face ID and everything is um, used on your phone. So there are these two Y screws that you're going to want to use the same bit that you're using before. On those two screws, keep uh, make sure you keep track of which one is the little one and which one is the big one. But then we are going to have to use this Phillips bit to get the other two screws out that are uh, right here. As you can see, they don't look the same if my camera will focus. Yeah, they are the Phillips bit. You'll use your Phillips bit to obviously get those two screws out. So then after you get these two screws out, you're going to want to go ahead and take out that plastic tool we were using earlier and just go ahead and start lifting this up as you want to be very gentle with this part. It is not a, uh, or it is a very expensive piece. If you were to break this, it'd be bad. So then you're just going to go ahead and use this little tool to slide off that um, upper part of the um, of the display is I'm going to go ahead and use this hard plastic tool just because I could not get it quite underneath. You just slide that right underneath there. Um, use it to pry that up a little bit. Then I just like to pry underneath this little gold part. Be nice and gentle. Get that off and then just use it to get that last part off as well as they um, all come out pretty easy. Nothing too, nothing too hard here. 
So after we do get that last little piece off, we just go ahead and take off the display. But since I do not have a, uh, another screen with me, um, I'm just going to be working backwards. What you would do is you would just swap the displays from the broken screen onto, you'd swap the display from the broken screen onto the display of the new screen, because uh, you have to have the same display. If not, like your face ID won't work. Um, I don't really know why. I just know that that is the case. So I'm just putting everything back where it was, placing the cover back on. I'm just going to go ahead and work our way backwards through the entire repair just to put the new screen on. So we're going to go ahead and place these screws in. As the Phillips screws are pretty well interchangeable, it doesn't really matter which one goes in which hole when it comes to the Phillips screws, but those Y screws, you're going to want to make sure you obviously put the much smaller one in the top part and the much bigger one in that bottom part below the uh, much smaller part because, I mean, obviously the bigger one won't even fit in the smaller one. So yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out which one goes where. Now all you're going to want to do is just go ahead and put the flexes back on where they went. Obviously your new screen will look exactly the same as your old one. Like I said, I don't have another screen with me though, and I really didn't need one because my phone is not broken, just my stupid screen protector. But you just go ahead and put the flexes back on. You still don't want to reconnect the battery yet. If you remember, that's the first thing that we disconnected. That's going to be the last thing you want to connect as I go ahead and get these flexes on. Sometimes they, want it, they are a little tricky, but you want to make sure that they're lined up and you should get a nice little click when they do finally connect. As then after you connect the battery, you should be able to turn on the phone like such, and it's on, so we are good, nothing wrong with the screen, so we have ourselves a successful repair, as now we just have to put the phone back together. As I'm going to go ahead and speed through this last part quite a bit, obviously you just want to put the panels back where they belong, and then just go ahead and put these Y screws in. All of them are pretty interchangeable as well, it doesn't really matter which screw goes where, um, as long as you just get them nice and secure. You want to put them about finger tight, not much more, and then uh, you should be good and go ahead ready to close up the phone. As to close up the phone, I'm just going to start at the top corners, just kind of pressing them in, just making sure all the sides get where they're supposed to be. And to finish it all off, I'm just going to go ahead and put in that last penelope screw, or the last two penelope screws, which are the screws we took out from the bottom. And that is all, that is all, all for today. Thank you guys for watching, and this has been a successful repair.